Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to uh, do a video on this Tiger Electronics system because I think it's pretty good here for Battletoads. I think that um, a lot of fans probably helped make this because they knew a lot about the game as people that actually knew um, every level and a lot of the characters and stuff like that. So I wanted to make a little video about a uh, playthrough of this and just tell you a little bit about it and show you it because it's pretty cool. And it's actually pretty tough too. So uh, here's the, the cover, obviously, and it's got Pimple, Zitz, and Rash. And then it's got three uh, rats, and I don't think any one of those is Blag. I think those are actually just rats. So uh, the controls are just up, down, left, right. I'll explain that as I'm playing. And then you got the attacks, and then you have select a toad, which is basically meaningless. You don't really select a toad. You're basically all three of them in the playthrough. So let's start it up. That's just the high score. There's going to be life up here, and then there's going to be the toad selected up there, which I have it on rash at all times just because that's who I play with, uh, but it doesn't really matter. So here's level one. Okay, so um, first of all, I'll try my best to not shake the screen, but it's tough right now because what I have to do on this level is I need to slam the down button. Um over on the left and I have to keep on descending very quickly because these levels are timed and you have to hurry as the time is in the the top left there and you have to get down to the bottom and on this level you have to fight the dark queen at the bottom and then you can get out of here so we're going down on the rope like on level two of the NES game so they did that and we're fighting the hawks like on the level two of the NES game so they went ahead and they covered that which I thought was pretty cool on this First, I thought this was the only screen, like, on this game. And then as I started playing it more, I was like, holy crap, they got this, and they got this, and they got this. And so that's what made me want to do a short video on it. There, here's the, the Dark Queen. So I'm descended all the way to the bottom. I don't have to do that anymore. Now I just got to wait for Dark Queen, and I just have to fight her. And fend off everything in the... Whoops. Sorry, I had to move my wrist. I had to uh, um, fend off the birds while I'm fighting Dark Queen. And then you got to wait for the little bomb to show up right there. That bomb actually comes from the bombs that are in um, Rat Race in the NES game. So on this stage, this is a pretty normal. There's a rat. This is a pretty normal stage. You just got to go from right to uh, keep running right. And basically the Dark Queen comes out. And also there's hawks, and then there's wind. And a lot of the wind, what I was telling you guys, was the wind comes from the dark tower when those big faces show up on the screen in the game and they try to blow you um, off the freaking uh, tower. And basically on this game, they just blow the wind at you and it does damage to you. So essentially you can take eight hits. Um, every time you hear the little beeping, I took a hit. And I'll try to point that out next time I take a hit. Uh, I thought it was going to be right there. Very surprised it wasn't. I thought for sure that little hawk would get me. So like I said, we got 90 seconds or so to keep running right. And then pretty soon Dark Queen shows up and you got to kind of fight her as a boss. Here she is. Okay, apparently I did not hit her. You gotta keep running right though as well. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on, dude. Why didn't I get the life and I didn't hit her? I'm trying to grab another life here. Oh, hit her twice. Then I gotta jump over. That's her basically in the tornado. Going around. Like she does in the game. She always turns into a tornado. So that's what they were doing. I'm sure that's why they decided to have the faces and have her do the tornado. Because they're like, okay, we're going to need the Dark Queen in this game, obviously. And she's got to be going into a tornado. So how about we do where we can also use the tornadoes for when those faces blow air. So that's why I'm trying to say, like, they kind of paid a lot of tribute to the actual game. There's the bomb. That's level two. There are five levels. I don't remember if I said that. This level is a water stage. And basically, you're running and swimming through the water and trying to get to the other side when you're dealing with uh, wind. 
and you're dealing with the Dark Queen. So there's the face blowing wind at me, and we just dealt with the Dark Queen a second ago. And basically, that's all you got to deal with on this stage. Uh, I'd like to say that this is, to me, I think this is the easiest stage. So there's the wind blowing up top trying to get me, so I'm going to stay on the bottom and keep running. And you just got to keep going and keep hitting the Dark Queen until the bomb shows up and you're done with this stage. So... Okay. Da, 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 da. This stage is like the stage that if you really need life and stuff like that, this is the stage to like get all your life back. And you only have one life, by the way. You don't have like lives or continues or anything like that. Once you lose that life up there, you have to start over. But the game is not very long, so it's actually pretty fair. And it gives you enough life to constantly like get yourself more and stuff like that, so. I definitely think it's fair. Whoop. Once again, I think this is the end of the stage where when you hit her, she goes around in a circle. That's basically what she does when she gets peed off. <laughs> Which is, you know, kind of what she does in the game. And obviously, there's water levels in the game. There's Surf's Up, and then there's uh, Terra Tubes has some water in it. So I'm sure they were just trying to say, okay, let's have a water stage. There you go. That's level three. Now, level four is like the dark tower essentially and what you have to do is you have to move right to left and i'm climbing just like you would in the dark tower was what they were basically trying to mimic and the whole way up you're going to see everything on this stage the rats the birds the dark queen you're going to see everybody you don't see the faces i should say so that's not true You don't see the faces where you have to dodge the wind or anything like that. Come on. Keep climbing. Keep climbing, guys. Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. Got some life there, though. And there, the bird's still alive. Okay. How that is is beyond me, but okay. Stinking bird. Okay, we do have full life, though, but we're going to go ahead and snag that. So you can take eight hits. You take basically two hits per energy piece. And I'm not sure if you have to, like, keep collecting the life per hit or just per energy piece. I think it might be per energy piece, but I do that sometimes just to cover my butt a little bit. The birds are probably the biggest a-holes for sure in my opinion. So this is a level that if you go too slow, you can definitely run out of time. So you definitely need to like keep keep an eye on that. Okay. And once again, when Dark Queen starts to get to where you're at the end of the stage, she will start to, after she takes her punches, she'll actually start flying around the screen like she does in all the other stages. That's how you kind of know, like, okay, I'm getting towards the end. And the bad guys will start showing up way quicker. I, I like to call it like they kind of like go into a frenzy. But you got to keep uh, climbing. If you're not climbing, then uh, you'll just basically keep fighting guys as they spawn and you'll never beat the level. So you definitely need to keep doing that. Come on. And once again, I'm sorry for the screen moving so much. I'm just, you gotta, with the, the, the Tiger Electronic is just kind of old. So sometimes, oh, there she goes. She's flying around the stage. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you can get hit by the tornado up there. I think you can only get hit when it's like at its thing right there. Okay, so going to the last stage, level five, and it's the good old turbo tunnel. So you got to click right to go faster, and then you got to watch out for those right there, those walls. And then you're going to watch out for Dark Queen in this stage. And then you're going to watch out for the wind. The face comes and blows the wind at you, so... Gotta watch out for all that stuff. And the trickiest part of this stage is jumping over the wind. 
because it's like a weird timing. And sometimes you can get attacked from the Dark Queen oh, right when a, a wall is going to show up, so that can definitely be annoying too. Yep. Those walls, just like in the game though, they come quick. Like for sure. And I think at the end, once again, uh, the Dark Queen starts going around in a circle again. So that's how you know in the game that you're getting towards the end. Woo! Wind's up on top. We're going to stay on the bottom here. And you can only jump up for so long, so that's what can be kind of tricky about uh, dodging the wind and stuff like that. Whew. You want to make sure the timing is to where you're not having to dodge a wall and that wind when it's at the same time there. Otherwise, you're kind of freaking screwed. Oh, here she goes. She's going around. So you have to dodge everything here. Just taking hits. Oh my gosh, there was a wall and the wind and And there's the end of the game. Boom, we win. But that was close. We were down to our last two hits, I think we had. I did it! I did it! Yeah! I did it! I did it! So that's a score of 7,200. That's what it shows you when you win. It's just kind of a cool game, guys. I wanted to show it to you. I hope I got good enough view. I had to use this weird lighting right here. <laughs> I had to use my light and stuff like that and put it right up to the camera. So that's the whole thing. Um, you know, it's. I just thought it was pretty cool. I thought people put a lot of thought into it. And um, I thought they did a good job on it for, you know, Battletoads or just Tiger Electronics getting such a bad rap all the time. You know, you always hear people make fun of Tiger and with it coming back and stuff like that, you know, these are they, they can be fun. That that was about this is like a 12 minute video at this point. So, you know, that was a 10 or 11 minute uh, playthrough and it's pretty cool. And and it takes a while to get that good. There was a lot of times that I lost and stuff like that. So it's fair to say, you know, you could sit here in the car and, and you could play one of these for a while. You know, um, I think so. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Got some pimple right there. <laughs> and uh, thanks for hanging out. Just wanted to share this with you. Take it easy.